In 1997, a promise was made to the people of Hong Kong. One country, two systems, autonomy, freedom for 50 years. But we didn't get 50 years. Our freedom, after steadily declining since 1997, ended this year. You, our friends at Freedom House, know our story. You began tracking how our rights have been slowly eroded by mainland China, year after year after year. During these years, the freedom-loving people of Hong Kong have used peaceful protest to stand up against the theft of our rights. Through protest, we sent a message to mainland China and to the world. You have followed our protests. You remember when we started carrying umbrellas in 2014 to protect our identities and our bodies. The protests of 2019 were different. One third of Hong Kong's population was inspired to actively participate by New Year's. All generations, all socioeconomic groups. We were united and we knew we had nothing else to lose. As our protests grew stronger and larger, the police response grew violent. Activists were charged with rioting. Organizers were arrested. A police officer shot an 18-year-old demonstrator, then a 14-year-old. Masks were banned. Protests escalated. The free world was watching. Then came the crackdown to crush Hong Kong liberties once and for all, so innocently called the National Security Law. Since the National Security Law went into effect in June, students have been detained, protest leaders arrested, activists disappeared, professors fired, pro-democracy candidates banned from participating in legislative council elections. Elections delayed indefinitely. Free speech in Hong Kong is gone. Hong Kong's freedoms, gone. Tonight, Freedom House honors the protesters of Hong Kong, but you must do so without naming or identifying any of them. To identify and honor these leaders publicly would put their lives at risk. Hong Kongers have now joined other groups mortally oppressed by China. Uyghurs, Tibetans. Our shared goal must be a day when the protesters of Hong Kong can be named because they are once again free. We will say their names next to Uyghur and Tibetan names next to Sudanese and Iranian names, because freedom will prevail. The human spirit cannot be controlled. The communist government of China won't stop. And we, the people who know that to be free is to live, we won't stop either. The protesters of Hong Kong are this year's Freedom House Freedom Award winners. We all look forward to the day when we can say their names.